Caddis Maximus here, this time with the Klein NCVT2. So this is kind of neat, and I decided to pick it up because it is a dual-range voltage detector. What does that mean? It can go anywhere from 12 all the way up to 1,000 volts non-contact. So how these things work, or how, how I should say how they operate, is they're able to tell you whether or not some electrical wires have power in them without actually having to touch them so they are very safe it does have an integrated manual in here and we have a little tool itself how it's traditionally worked uh, for instance on these flukes here so we have a one L one ACA here we have a one LACA and we can see that one is 90 to a thousand volts another one is 20 to 90 volts so usually these tools would be in two different units but this one's able to essentially auto range. It says that it came with some batteries. Not quite as well built as the Fluke, I don't think. Interesting, I wonder if it's just... Oh, they even have a plastic thing in there to uh, <laughs> uh, prevent the batteries from corroding. So I guess these sit in the packages for a real long time and they'll end up with rotted batteries. But that's kind of the deal. This one's semi-transparent. We saw that it already had a green LED, but there's actually two LEDs in here. And then one of them we can see is a three wire. So there's a two color LED and a single color LED, which I think is just a little bit interesting. The way this cap kind of snaps on isn't my favorite. Although it does clip in there, so it may hold okay as compared to say these flukes. So let's see if it actually works. I see it. And so we have a green and blue and I assume a red. Okay. So we get a couple flashes there when it is detecting a higher voltage. This is just line voltage, 120 volts. Kind of a slower pace. I kind of like the flukes a little bit better. I do like both of these units. I like the way the blue light stays on. So if you drop it, uh, it's easier to find in slightly darker areas, as well as being obvious that it's turned on. The Fluke does this periodic double flash just to let you know it's turned on. So I do like that as well. What I was really wondering is how low it will go. On higher voltages, there's stronger fields, so it's much easier for these types of tools to be able to pick them up or pick up the signal. So I thought, well, we can test it. I have a Variac here, a variable alternating current transformer. So I'm going to be able to get real low to see which one of these actually detects the lowest voltage. And we're going to go pretty low here. The Fluke advertises tw as low as 12 volts. Where the, or excuse me, the Klein advertises as low as 12 volts. The Fluke is only supposed to do 20 volts. We're at about 15. And if we can get this in frame here. How about super low, 10 volts? So obviously the Fluke is detecting lower than even it advertises it's 20, but that would be like the certified reliable. Interesting, it'll go as low as 10 volts. We'll go very low. Even just being connected, it will detect. Ah, there we go. So we get a different tone. And we have a solid red light. And that's a, an extremely low voltage, like 5 volts. So I'm actually happy. I'm happy with both of these because of the performance. They both will detect a voltage well below their advertised ratings. And that's more than satisfying. I like the Klein because it actually distincts. You get a slower beep and a flashing light when it's a higher voltage detected. And if it's a low detected voltage, you get a fast beep and a solid red light. And I guess the green light's just to let you know that it's turned on. That'd be my best bet. And probably is a battery check, even though I haven't read the manual. It does run off two AAA batteries. Overall, I think it's pretty neat, and I like the idea of having these types of tools here, but 
this dual range from the Klein, I think really is a next step because you get one of these and then you know it doesn't matter whether it's high or low voltage. And if you're in a mixture environment where anything from security cameras, security systems, all sorts of uh, communication systems, you'll be working with both main power wires coming in as well as other low voltage wires. And so something like this could actually be much more handy than having to carry around two different pens. So I think it's uh, kind of a neat idea from Klein. And I do complain about the drop test, but uh, they do call it a tough meter. And uh, they do advertise 10 foot drop, drop protection. So I guess that's more than good enough. I was looking in the manual, they offer 50 to 500 hertz. So it will certainly work in uh, European countries where it's uh, 50 hertz. 500 hertz is pretty good because most aircraft systems are at 400 hertz. So this has a uh, even uh, applications in aircraft, which I think is also pretty cool. I'm not sure what the frequency of the flukes are rated at, but I assume that they're pretty competitive. But anyway, that's my little review of this Klein MVCT2 dual range, uh, no contact voltage detector. And I think that's definitely pretty neat. And it does have a variety of modes, so you can get it to not blink or blink different ways. Actually a little bit complicated for such a simple device. And I think Klein kind of did a good job. At least it's uh, some forward movement for devices which have all essentially been, besides quality differences, essentially the same. And the fact that you can bind two of these now into one does help out a lot of people. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.